Hi, it's Dina Rich, Broker Associate with Keller Williams Realty on sunny South Padre Island. On March 15, 2024, an announcement was made by the National Association of Realtors concerning the settlement of a lawsuit. The lawsuit was a result of some sellers believing that NAR set fixed commissions, which was never the case. Commissions have always been, and always will be, negotiable. However, since then, there has been some talk in the news about real estate agent compensation. And I believe it's possible that there may be a few people out there that don't fully understand how real estate agents are compensated for their work. Some people may think that when an agent receives a commission for a sale, that it's some type of bonus on top of their salary or hourly wage. And while that may be true in some sales professions, it's not true for most real estate agents. Nearly all real estate agents and brokers are independent contractors. This means that we're not salaried employees with a guaranteed yearly income. We have no pay scale and no paycheck that arrives on a regular basis. Nor do we punch a time clock and get paid an hourly wage. If an agent spends four hours on call in the office answering phone inquiries, that agent gets paid zero dollars. If an agent spends six hours showing property to potential buyers, that agent gets paid zero dollars. If an agent spends three hours holding an open house, once again, zero dollars. And if an agent spends eight hours taking photos and video for a new listing, you guessed it, zero dollars. We are only paid upon the closing of a transaction. So commissions are not a bonus, they are our income. And there may be a few people out there who might not realize that when an agent finally receives a commission check, we don't actually get to keep all of it. For most agents, a percentage of it must be shared with our brokerage office. Since we're independent contractors, withholding tax is not taken out of our checks, so we need to set aside about a third of that to pay taxes. Successful agents put at least 10% of their earnings back into their business. Additionally, if a seller or buyer was referred to us by another agent or referral agency, we need to pay a referral fee right off the top. Referral fee, brokerage cut, taxes, business expenses. What an agent actually gets to keep is a pretty small slice of the pie. And what do buyer agents and listing agents do to earn their compensation? I recently made two lists of everything that I may be called upon to do before, during, or after working with a buyer and a seller. My buyer list has over 120 items on it. My seller list has over 160 items. So as I stated at the beginning of this video, agent compensation has always been and always will be negotiable. And I hope that you'll feel that my services to you are worthy of compensation. <laughs>